Hello everyone, welcome to Novo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new motion graphics tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create a floating liquid reflections animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. So create your composition and let's get started. So after create your composition, as you see in my comp, I have this text layer in the background here, apply the current ramp on it. So on this text layer, I'm going to animate and then add rotation here. And as you see, we got animator and the range selector. So on this rotation, I'm going to add a wiggle expression and set 0.6 comma 6 there. And we're going to have animation looks like this. And as you see, I just wanted to animate the first layer, so on the range selector, I'm going to select that first letter, and it's only the L that's going to have the rotation animation on it. And then, as you see, the rotation it looks like on its own uh, anchor point. So on more options, anchor point grouping, I'm going to choose here word. And then the rotation, it's going to be on this text layer anchor points. And then, as you may notice, the animation doesn't look seamless here when it's in and start. There's a jump there. So to make a nice seamless there, I'm going to animate and then advanced. And here we have a mount that we can keyframe here. So I'm going to put there zero and add a keyframe. And at one second, I want that to be 100 and then just copy these keyframes and at the last second I'm going to paste them and then reverse these keyframes so it's going to look a little bit seamless than how it was. Okay so and now on this animator I'm going to duplicate these few times here and then change here the range selector for the other letters as you see here so for the third one it's going to be q so just keep doing this until it selects all the letters and let's preview and see how this looks like so as you see we got something like this and you may notice like in the middle we don't have so much animation there and that because the farther from anchor point the more rotation you got so it, it, it to reveal these expressions and here we can just randomize to have a different feel to this and more or less rotations depend on how we want that to look so as you see we got something like this in actual we can select more than just one layer so let's duplicate the last one here and then select q and u letters and then just add a wiggle values just maybe there a six there Okay, so we've got something like this, and then I'm going to pre-compose this and rename this to holder, and then create a new solid and name this map and add fractal noise here. And on fractal noise, I'm going to choose here transform and link the scaling and set this to 600 and height to 20 and then type to spline so we got something like this and then i'm going to animate the evolution from zero to three so we got something like this and as you see we got a jump here it doesn't look seamless animation for this map so i'm going to duplicate these and hit u and then reverse these keyframes here and then add opacity animation from 100 to 0 at the last second for the second uh, layer here. So we're going to got a nice seamless animation now, something like this. And I'm going to add another solid here and add a mask on it and hit MM and invert the mask and just feather that 
and change this to overlay. So we're going to get something like this. So let's pre-compose this map. And then I'm going to use it as a Luma mat here. So it's going to be used with the holder text. So we got something like this. And on holder, I'm going to add displacement map and use this map we just created. And then let's put their one hander on the horizontal and 30 on the vertical. So we're going to get something like this. And then on map, I'm going to add curves to change the look there. So we don't want that to be looking like that. So just going to make it look like this. Okay, and then here I'm going to add transform. So to flip this, so align the scale and set height to minus 100. So it's going to be flipped vertically there. And let's pre-compose these and rename it to waves. And then I'm going to add our holder on top here. As you see, we got something like this. And let's move these a little bit up just there, maybe more if you need to. So it just depend. Okay, so now I'm going to create a mask for this. So let's create a shape layer and set that just where these two contact. And I'm going to add wiggle path here. And on wiggle path, I'm going to zero out the wiggles per second. And let's set size to 50. So we've got something like this and set these to smooth to get something that looks like a wave. It's not animating because we are putting the wiggles to zero. And then I want to keyframe these phases here. And so I'm going to put this to two and this to one and just copy these. So we have seamless animation for this. Let's solo these. So we're going to have something like this. It looked like a waves. Let's easy ease these keyframes. Okay, so let's rename these mask and then I'm going to use it as alpha here and duplicating it and just put it above waves and use it as alpha and vary. So now we're going to have something like this. Okay, so let's pre-compose all of these. And this is going to reanimate to waves title and hit OK. And so what I want to do here, let's add a fill and get a nice color here for this. And then I'm going to duplicate these and let's rename these two wave titles highlights. And then I'm going to add here, let's attribute right of this fill and add matte choker here. And let's solo these so we can see what we are doing. Let's put these softness to 40 and choke to 80. So we got something like this. And then I'm going to add a bevel alpha here. So basically bevel alpha is just going to add some lights there, something like this. Let's put this to 90. And so with matte choker, you can't see that much. So then I'm going to add a Luma key here and then I'm going to key out brighter's pixels. So threshold, I'm going to crank that up until we start seeing some things like this. And then let's add fill here. So we give it a white color. We don't need that gradient on the colors there. As you see when we add a white. So if we add that on top of these, so we see something there. Let's crank up this to something like this. And here we can actually play with these uh, edge. You can't see much. So here we have a choker 
and maybe this we need to put it just less and also by changing the light angles you can see we're changing the highlights there so just changing the values until it gets a nice highlights looking there okay and then i'm going to add a fast box blur there and set this to one just to smooth that highlights a little bit and then Control d to duplicate the layer and for the second one i'm going to put there 10 just to get some nice uh like a glow on the highlights and maybe add another one here just so we we have it more obvious if we want to and then i'm going to pre-compose all these and yeah, let's rename these wave title animation here and then i'm going to add adjustment layer and let's add noise here and put there three and then going to add here on this comp cc turner so basically we can change the color to anything else we want so let's preview this and see how it looks like So as you see this look pretty cool animation here and then if we want to change the title to something else we actually just need to change it as we want here. So the animation is still working here even if you have more or less letters there and of course you can add more to it if you want to. So this was the tutorial of today. Hope it was very useful for you guys and if you have any questions just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming soon and thank you for watching.